Welcome to our home. So this is a special week for us because December 7th marks 57 years of being so deeply in love with this wonderful man. Barry likes to say we met when we were five, but we met when we were 18 and um, in our first year of college in upstate New York. So, you know, we, we just fell in love right away, right away. And December, December 7th marks our first kiss. And it just kind of changed our lives completely because in that kiss, all that we are together was revealed to both of us. It was just a simple little kiss, a couple sec- seconds. Should we show them? No, <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe not. Um, But, yeah, so deeply in love. And then about three months later, and we were talking so deeply, sharing all these amazing things, things that we'd never shared with, with anyone. And one evening, Barry started sharing with me about his bar mitzvah. And I didn't know that he was Jewish. And he didn't know that I wasn't Jewish. And and it was, um, and so he took my hand yeah. and said, We can never get married. Yeah, very, very meant it, 100%. Mm. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I, 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 I get that, but we're only 18. And we were so in love. So we just continued having a lot of fun and being in our relationship. But as we grew older, we kept wanting to to change each other. This difference between us became so so strong and and it just seemed like like a stumbling block that we could that we could never get never get through. And nobody at that time really believed that we could make it because Jewish people at that time didn't marry people that weren't Jewish. So we, so we struggled really for, um, we had a lot of fun and sometimes we, we struggled too. We both transferred to different schools and we kept coming back together and kept coming back together. And then we realized we just, we wanted to marry each other. We didn't know quite how it was going to work out, but we just really wanted to get married. And um, who was going to marry us, that was a big question. Because the rabbi, Bear's childhood rabbi, wasn't going to. So my mother um, talked to her minister in Buffalo, New York, and this is what he told us. And this is, this is the whole purpose why I'm sharing this story. He looked at us and he said, I'll marry you on one condition. You have to honor each other's differences because you'll learn so much from each other's differences and it will bless your relationship so much. And he was absolutely right. And he, he was the first person, really, to believe in us, to believe that we could make it as a couple. So we later went on to, to write our books. And the first book was The Shared Heart. And the most quoted line from The Shared Heart is, you say it, Barry. It's, um, the mind seeks an easy relationship. You know, for, in our minds, we, we want it to be easy. But the heart sp- seeks a spiritual partner. The heart wants the deepest growth, okay, while the mind wants it to be easy. Thank you. Yeah. I wasn't sure I could get it completely right. <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, I mean, this is for single people too. You know, 
and because we're all in we're all in relationship with 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 someone friends or children um children that we're taking care of um people that we work with our we're, parents our parents mm-hmm. and you know we in our minds we just want to be easy just harmonious all the time and yet our heart is really seeking spiritual growth and really that's what we want this life to be about is is spiritual growth the opening of our heart so these differences that come can be such a great blessing mm. all right and you have a beautiful song don't you yeah i want i want to say that um you know our religious differences you know the jewish christian thing it really was our biggest obstacle our greatest weakness as a couple and um, now we're looking at it and our spirituality is our greatest strength as a couple by far yeah so um this is a song i i came up with a quite a while ago and i was just doing yoga stretches here in the living room and i just heard this line and it was just very simple love is the way of the heart and you know i mean if you think about it it's kind of obvious but i just really liked the way it sounded love is the way of the heart it's a beautiful song i love all the songs Just like the sun does shine Just like the tide comes in Just like a bell does chime Love is the way of the heart Love is the way of the heart. Love is the way of the heart. Love is the way of the heart. My feelings are sometimes clear God's presence is always here but sometimes I'm not aware that love is the way of the heart 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 it's been that way from the start that love is the way of the heart it's been that way from the start and that love is the way of the heart love is the way of the heart love is the way of the heart love 
is the way of the heart. So close your eyes and just breathe that in. All your heart wants to do is love. That's all your heart wants to do. Again, your mind, you know, it wants many things, but the heart wants one thing. You know, it wants that that depth of spirituality and growth and love, all goodness. Just feel that. All right. I think what we're going to do is show you that first kiss. <laughs> it was pretty simple. Um, we, were, we were standing, and it was freezing cold. Um, it's only a couple, it's only like a second. Yeah, it really, it really wasn't um, that passionate. But it was, it was sweet. It was like this. That's it? That's it. But so much happened in that second. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we hope you all have a good week. And we send our so much love to you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing these videos with your friends. Okay. All right. Mm.